Mm. I've never owned a retail outlet before. I've never been a CEO of a retail company. If you ask me the question that, did I think myself that we'll be here? I would have told you, you're, you're kidding. I actually would have thought you're insane. Five years ago, we started with our first store in Fika. And in five years, we've gone to a total group of nine stores, which is unbelievable. Every time we go into a new town, we bring smiles to the people because they know society has arrived, which means it's Bayachini daily, which means we're lowering cost of living. Every year you have prices increasing and people's pockets and their budgets and affordability is only getting thinner. In our company, we're very passionate about lowering the cost of living for our customers. We have our prices being the best and the lowest every day. We want to ensure that we create happiness for our customers by saving them time and money. First, the location of the store itself is located next to the main stage, which makes the branch have that potential to attract more customers. Uh, location is poor, in the main stage, affordable for customers. Water. Customer service is sour. We serve our customers with full cooperation, full respect, full equalization. We don't uh, discriminate our customers. We ensure our customers get the right product at the right time, at the right cost. Our price is Bayachini daily. Uh, what I can tell our customers is that let them come here. They will find everything that they want at affordable prices. Everything. I joined Society on 1st June 2016, Society Meru branch, as a line attendant, high trained, and I, I served as a cashier for three years. I trained as a chief cashier for one year, despite it having a lot of challenges and uh, responsibility. I'm grateful to be where I am today. I started working uh, at Society Stores in March 2018 as a normal loss controller. Then uh, six months later, I got a promotion as a team leader. They believe in their employees. They promote, they train, they sponsor, and they assist through the life of their employees.
nimepata commodities ziko cheap then varieties they are nice i've got everything that i need here kuna promotions in some stuffs i really like this place Society stores, we like supporting the community. If there is something that we can get locally, we normally take it as locally, so that as we grow, we can grow together. And one area is on ATM milk. In our final case, I'm a sewer. To get more as a poor eater, we are much am seeing. Lansi tunatua kalipu lita miyamoja, alafu na jioni inatua lita temanini. Sasa kupige hiyo sapu tawasaleta hata masiwa miyatatu wa msini hapa miyatatu wa harufaini. Badi, ngini gali na kujia inaenda supermarket. Nyahururu is a very cold place. That means now and then people are taking tea. That's why we came up with the issue of a having an ATM in our store so that we can provide that service. If people want milk, they can come and buy here. Every day in the morning, I normally buy the milk here and not less than five liters. Early in the morning, I normally come and find that the milk is directly uh, brought here by the farmer who supplies the milk. And that's why I prefer using the milk from the ATM. It's good that uh, they have brought it uh, closer to me, of which I don't have to go to the farmer directly. The long lasting of the milk and the quality impresses the customers that I deal with. Nikiona kama imeenda supermarket, mi iyo inakuanka fura yangu. Nikiona kwa supermarket, nisikia iyo masiwa yenu ni musuli. Najwa hapo nasikia hata mimi kasi yangu ni musuli nafanya. We are trying to engage together, to come together with them, to help them as they help us too. Kutoka kusaliwa kwangu, hakuna kasi ingine ni mpoanza ni kulima tu ni nalimaga. Sasa kama mimi vile ni nalima ya eka bili, ni nafuna agunia 25 kwa eka. Kuwa wakati ya tukuwa na mamila zuwengi, tulikuwa tunaumia paka maidi sinaosa. Tu imekosa mahali utapeleka kwa milas. Ngawa sasa, tumefika kiwago wabaye, tumepata mamila zuwengi na huwa wanatumimulia maidi. It is important for us to get the milk from the local farmers because it is easy to get and the meat it is the good quality that can produce enough flour. Our relationship with the society is good. They are our good customers, they give us orders. Karib Miss Millers is one of the producers of our Miss flour in Nyahururu town. They have been supplying budget flour to us. They are doing what we call prompt delivery. They are giving us good goods on time. They are offering us all the support, including if there is any giveaways, special offers, they are giving us so that we can be able to extend the same to our customers. Right now, if you go to our shelf, the cheapest flour is from Kadib Miss Millers. That is a budget. Nafanya kazi ya pikipiki, waboda, na inaitaji nguvu zaidi. Napenda sana kutumia budget kwa sababu inanipa nguvu ya kuendelesha kazi yangu huko nje. Napenda bei yake ni bei affordable kwa customer wa kawaida mwenye mfuko wa chini. Being locally made it means that at least ina support the local farmers around. Pia society imekuja kutusaidia kushughulikia mwanabiashara yule mdogo. Huwa ninafurahia kwa sababu ninaona mafuno yangu haipotelei. Ninaona siumii kwa sababu hata nikikosa school fees niende kwa mila niwaambie niko na gunia kumi ya mahindi wataniambia watakuja kushukua na ninapata school fees saa hiyo na ninarudisha mtoto shule the train that is taking is going to be profitable for our sites 
at their side of the farmer. We are able to get them at a cheaper price and they have a what we call ready market because we are here to support them. I am from the States and Canada, but I live in Meru, Kenya full time. And I volunteer with a few other people, feeding children in schools, training idle youth to get trade experience. And I sponsor children to go to school with school fees and uniforms. I found out from the schools that I was teaching in about Canada and the United States. The lunch bell would ring and 90% of the children would go outside and sit down with their lunch that they brought from home. And about 10% would go into a classroom and just wait 15 minutes and then go out and play. And I asked the head teachers what's going on and they said they don't bring lunch, they don't have the money. When you investigate, most of the families have no father, some have no mother, extremely poor and they don't have money to supply food for their children. At one time the teachers had started contributing and giving the children food because some of them could faint in class, others could not even come to school. Like in the case of this uh, young girl, Kadambi Sheila, she only thought of how she's going to prepare food. At times there is not that food to prepare. And these young ones will also ask for food and she's the one to be asked for food. And so it was a nightmare. And some of these children, like the girl, is a mother at 10 years old to her two little sisters. Man, that's a tough go. So we should feed her and help her. What, what can we do? We have to. You gotta have food. In the hierarchy of needs in life, food is the first one. You gotta eat. If you don't eat, you don't think. And these kids, they're bright, they're fun, they have to get a fair chance. So there's 265 children who don't eat lunch. I find that tragic. So I didn't have the money for 265 kids. I, that can add up to be a fair bit of money every week for 14 weeks first term, 14 weeks second term, and nine weeks third term. So by luck, I was down at society stores. Just by chance, Trushar, the owner of society stores, was in town in his office. So I went and I explained what we do, and it's 265 children, and he said he wants to help feed them. And I said, you're from heaven, because I can't get other people to help me. The society stores and green, they came in, they assisted in this program, and they started feeding the children. From the time these children started being fed, the rate of absenteeism has gone completely down. And the child is sure of food. They can't miss school, even when they are sick, even their concentration in class. The concentration is much, much improved and even the performance itself. Kabla wa nini wa society wa wanaweza kutupatia chakula hawa watoto walikuwa na shinda ya chakula sana. Wengine wanapata chakula ya saba hapa jioni tujui kama wanapata anga chakula. They sit down in the corner and they gobble up their beans and maize and sometimes rice and then they come back for a little bit more. And it's a thrill to feed them because they're the most beautiful children in the world. Some are in nursery which is age 3 or 4 and they have big beautiful eyes and big white teeth. Nobody complains. They just take and they smile and most of them will say, thank you, Mzungu, and away they go and I feel like a million dollars. It's got to help them with their studies. We have to expand this big time. And society, thank you, Trujar, thank you, society. I hope to expand it, but right now they're the only ones who are helping us feed the children. We're here for the people, and that is why our slogan is for you, for life. Society, no. society, no. for you, for, life. for you, for, life. for you, for life. society, no. let's go.